Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to another mathematical solutions, I mean creative solutions from physics chapter 4. So you can see this is uh, something like oh, it's written that there is a collision between two cars P and Q. See this is a P car which has about 600 kilogram mass and is moving towards this way 12 meter per second. And this is Q car which is coming uh, in the reverse way within 10 meter per second and the mass is 500 kilogram. So it says so there is a collision between two curves P and Q after running a distance. As a result the combined car moves together with a velocity 2 meter per second towards Q. So after the collision they, they're, they're actually moving towards Q. So you see the data you see the stem. And you know that in creative questions, there are four questions that we need to solve. So first, when you do this sort of uh, mathematical solution, try to understand the stem. And you see, this is something like something coming together. And this is about collision. So the first question, what is the third law for a free falling body? I hope you understand you, you definitely studied about the Galileo's law that the third law is about h is proportional to t square so we can say that that for an object freely falling from a stationary state the distance it covers at a specific time is squarely proportional so the distance this is the distance covered in a specific time is squarely proportional to that time so we can say h is proportional to t square that is invented by Galileo Galilei the second question that is power is a derived quantity and I hope you know that the power is about the what is the definition of power we can say that a power power is equal to work upon time and you know this is a uh, easy and of course what is the meaning of work you know that work means force times displacement over time and you know that this force is actually the mass times acceleration times the displacement over time and you know that this acceleration is about the the change of velocity over time so we can say that this is power this is combined and this power is obtained from the combination of several fundamental quantities so we know this is a uh, mass and this, this will be like uh, the distance over time square and this is displacement and this is time so these are the fundamental quantities so as the power is obtained from the combination of several fundamental quantities and thus it is actually the derived quantities now move to the third question the question is at what time will the car P and Q meet together so we can say you see that the power I mean the P car is moving 12 meter per second so we can say that the velocity of P car is 12 meter per second and the velocity of Q car is 10 meter per second so it is given we know this is from the data is given and if we can see the distance is given also the distance is given which is 1.10 kilometers so we must say this is 1100 meter we know that 1000 meter is 1 kilometer so we know this is 1100 meter is the distance between p and q so suppose that after they started moving they will meet at x distance so if i say this is p is moving and this is q is moving in this way and after traveling this amount of time think about this is the distance so we can say this is x and from this distance we can say this is 1100 minus x so think about this is the place where p and q will meet together after traveling the x distance by p now you think how we can find the time 
so we can say that distance covered by p car by p car is is actually the x x is the distance we know this is the velocity we can say x equals to v t so we can say that x is actually vp that is 12 so 12 t we can say this is 12 t so after t time so the amount of time that is required from here is t and also t so we can say this is x is about vt and think about distance obtained by q which is 1100 minus x is actually vqt so we can say this vq is actually 10 10 t so now this x if i say that we need to find the value of x so we say that let it be on the other side so vq 10 t so we can say that 1100 minus x is actually 10 t so we can say that x is actually 1100 minus 10 t so we can say that this x is equal to this and this x equal to also this so we say that 12 t if it is equation number one and this is two 12 t is equal 1100 minus 10 t so 12 t plus 10 t is equal 1100 so we can say 22 t is equal 1100 so t equal 1000 over 22 so we can say thousands so this is 1100 over 22 so 1100 over 22 is 50 so we can say this is 50 second so thus we can find the distance and the time so the t is 50 seconds so putting t here we can find the x so we can say this is 600 meter so if p travels 600 meters then both will meet each other so the value of x would be 600 if we just put the value of t here we will got 600 so this is the process and then the last question is the incidence supports the law of conservation of momentum but not the kinetic energy now think about momentum momentum is about the the cross product of mass and velocity and the kinetic energy is about half m v square so we need to think how to find that this incident supports the law of conservation of momentum so think about that what is the total momentum before the collision so we can say the total momentum before the collision is before we say this is b4 which is m1 u1 plus m2 u2 before the collision now you must think one thing that this velocity is positive because we are saying this is the direction but this one is coming from the reverse direction so it must be minus this is very very important it should be minus when you will count it so now you think m1 is actually 600 kilogram times this is 12 plus 500 times minus 10 so this is very very important this should be minus 10 so it would be like 7200 minus 5000 so it would be 2200 2200 kg meter per second so this is the the summation of momentum before the collision and think about after the collision after this is m1 v plus m2 v why because you see the combined car moves together with a velocity 2 meter per second towards q so the 
combined velocity was same so it was 2 meter per second that is where the velocity would be 1 so we can say m1 plus m2 come on v so we know that this is 600 plus 500 times 2 so we say this is 1100 times 2 is 2200 kg meter per second so we can see before the collision the the momentum the total momentum before collision and the total momentum after the collision is equal so you can say this is i mean they actually supports the law of conservation of momentum now think about the energy the kinetic energy before in case of kinetic energy before we know that half m1 e1 square plus half m2 u2 square so think about before it is so half times 600 times 12 square plus half times 500 times 10 square and this is minus so if it is minus then square would be same so it would be like if you do it like 300 and it would be like 4 3 2 double 0 plus it would be 2 5 triple 0 i didn't do it because it's easy so you can find it out it would be 6 8 2 triple 0 joule so this is the total kinetic energy before the collision and now if we do the after the collision then we find that after the collision is half m1 v square plus half m2 v square because the velocity is same because they are combined together so we say this is half m is m1 half v square we can take as a common m1 plus m2 so we say that half times 2 square and this is 500 plus 600 so it would be 2 times 1100 which is 2200 so here the thing is uh, it's about joule and this is joule so we can say that the kinetic energy was not actually maintained so we say the distance supports the law of conservation of momentum but not the kinetic energy so we can say yes before the collision and after the collision the momentum was same but not the kinetic energy i hope you understand the process of doing it and i know you can do it also because this is easy type of mathematical solutions and uh, i'm just giving you an idea those are watching this tutorial try to do it and practice because practice makes everybody perfect so whenever you see this type of steam try to figure it out try to visualize the scenario what's going on who is coming and try to find out the direction i'm just explaining this and you know this is the series of a mathematical solution of physics and i'm doing it every single tutorial every single steam so i'm trying my level best to explain the stems to you and those are watching please let me know your feedback do you really understand this and if you have any comments or recommendations let me know in the comment sections i'm waiting for your reply so take care stay well see you on the next video with another creative solutions bye